Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Vipul and today we have for you the all new Aether 450X Gen 3. Now, this is obviously an updated Aether 450X and it's been five years since Aether has uh, launched this scooter and this is it, its third update or third generation and the Aether was always a well put together scooter. In this video, we're going to tell you about all the changes that are there in this uh, scooter and we're going to tell you how the scooter is better or not. And if you want to see video in Hindi, you will get the link on the i button or the link in the description. So you can see this video in Hindi. Okay, so uh, let's start with the design first. And as you can see, there are not a lot of changes. According to Aether, they are obviously uh, uh, they have been saying time and again that they are a design first company and they did not want to tinker around with the design. So if it's not broken, don't change it. That's the philosophy they're going with. And we seem to agree with them because uh, this scooter is a beautiful looking scooter. There's nothing that looks quite like the Aether 450X. Um, however, in terms of visual changes, you will see that these mirrors are now new uh, they are much wider they provide better visibility and uh, we have to agree that yes this uh, mirrors are better than before um, the visibility is much much better and the previous scooter had a lot of issue with their mirrors and the visibility was uh, really bad but that has been improved which is a good thing so Aether is listening to customer feedback and they are making changes in their upcoming models uh, another thing that has been changed and you can see that visually is are these wheels now the tires that you see these are 100 by 80 section tires which give you better grip and a better ride quality and uh, i'll tell you more about the handling and the performance improvement with uh, this new set of tires Another change that is there on the inside is the tire pressure monitoring system. Yes, the scooter does get a tire pressure monitoring system and it is an optional accessory. You don't get it as standard and you know, you'll have to pay a little extra. We don't know how much, um, but uh, yes, once we know the price, we'll definitely share them with you. But yes, you can now have TPMS on the onboard computer and it will alert you whenever the tire pressure is low. Now there's an important uh, point that Aether highlighted that why they included the time at pressure monitor system is to get better range. So according to Aether, even if there is a 6 PSI drop in tire pressure, the performance goes down and the range of uh, the battery will go down by up to 18%, which is a considerable amount of range considering the scooter has close to 105 uh, kilometers of range. Speaking of range, yes, there is a bigger battery pack. It's a 3.7 kilowatt hour battery and the range has now gone up to 105 kilometers and this is obviously in the smart eco mode uh, there is uh, if you're riding the scooter in the warp mode you can get up to 85 kilometers out of this battery pack now the idc claimed range is 145 kilometers which is much higher but the true range that we will get in day-to-day -day usage is about 100 and 105 kilometers which is a uh, pretty good jump from the 8085 that the scooter used to deliver before. Now there might not be a lot of visual changes on the scooter but there is a lot of difference in uh, the way the scooter rides and the performance is pretty much the same. There's no uh, you know the, there's no bump in uh, the motor it's the, it's the same motor that's on the old scooter. So you get 6.2 kilowatt of peak power which is uh, same as before. You can go 0 to 40 in just 3.3 seconds in the warp mode. So in terms of performance, there is no change as such. But yes, the battery performance, the BMS, that has in increased a lot. So now the thermals are better by 20%. You know, the battery is now capable of, uh, you know, depleting heat better, managing the heat better so that there, you know, there will be no chance of, you know, the battery catching fire or any kind of mishap happening. So. Uh, Aether is making improvements in that direction as well. So in terms of performance, there's not a lot uh, to talk about. But what has changed is the ride and handling of the scooter. The way the scooter rides has changed. And that's all because of this new set of tires, the 100 
by 80 section tires that are there they provide a much better grip now and the scooter is more show footed when you are leaning into corners now we were riding the scooter up and down the nandi hills and it was a delight to ride the scooter i mean i actually was having fun with the scooter now over the climbs yes uh, the uh, motor tries a little hard to you know uh, make overtakes or to make those climbs uh, easily it's not like a normal petrol scooter you might have to switch to the sport mode or the warp mode to you know easily pass through uh, the inclines but while coming down i was having fun and i this scooter just put a smile on my face uh, it tucks in better into the corners now and it has more confidence it gives you more confidence uh, to lean the scooter it's a very light scooter though there is an increase of 5 kgs of weight thanks to the new battery in this mirrors and the new tires but overall the suspension tuning has been done to balance the weight properly the suspension is still a little bit stiff on bad roads you will feel the sharp bumps um, when you're riding on very very bad roads otherwise for normal city riding and uh, highway riding this is a perfect suspension setup now there are a bunch of accessories also available with this scooter and uh, to start with i already spoke about the tire pressure monitoring system it's available for the older scooters as well and the mirrors also can be added onto the older scooters besides that you can also uh, get a quick access front storage bag where you can store a water bottle your phones and some groceries you also get a detachable rear storage which can fit in a full-sized helmet speaking about helmets aether has also launched this new helmet that uh, looks uh, really nice it's designed quite well and goes with the overall look of the scooter and people who ride pillion and want a sidestep there is a new sidestep that has been uh, installed as well and it is plush with the design and it is designed in a way that does not look out of place the home charging can be done in 4 hours and 30 minutes for 0 to 80 percent and 5 hours and 40 minutes for 0 to 100 percent now if you want to access aether's grid of chargers you can uh, charge the scooter there 10 minutes of charging will give you 15 kilometers of range aether currently has 300 charging stations in the aether grid which they are planning to expand to 1500 by the end of this year another interesting change is with uh, the ui now the onboard computer or the android uh, system that uh, this uh, scooter has now has a 2gb ram which means that you will get an improved ui performance and the apps will run much smoother transitions will be smoother uh, the map navigation and other features that run on software alone are going to be much much better now overall the aether 450x gen 3 might not be a big change or a facelift uh, sort of uh, thing that you might have been expecting but aether has made uh, changes where they matter a lot the new tires the new mirrors the bigger battery pack uh, these were essentials and uh, in, an improvement in these only uh, goes to see how the brand is committed towards the customers that they are catering to uh, besides that you get over the air updates and all the scooters are going to be updated with the latest features and software features now you also get a smart eco mode in the scooter which means that uh, which is a mode that lies between the eco mode and the ride mode now it is a kind of uh, trying to balance uh, the power and uh, the, the performance and the range between the eco mode and the ride mode but it is doing that in a smart way hence the name and what it does is learns the rider's pattern and the way you ride the scooter it will understand uh, the way you ride the scooter how you use the throttle how you brake and based on that it will adjust the power delivery uh, so that you get better range uh, than the ride mode so overall ether might not have made a lot of changes visually it's not a facelift that uh, you might have been expecting but they have made changes where they matter like the mirrors like the tires the bigger battery um, these are changes uh, that matter a lot to the end consumers and also the addition of the new accessories it's only going to make this product a better proposition and we don't know what the price is yet but given ether's track record and uh, the features the new things that they have introduced you can say that uh, the scooter price can go up by 10 to 15,000 uh, we hope that Aether tries to you know 
uh, contain the price in, in a lower bracket so that uh, you know there are a lot more customers going towards buying the scooter so if you're in the market for an electric scooter and maybe you were considering the ether and were not you know buying it because of the range the range has got gone up by about 25 percent now which is a very very good thing and this only makes the ether an easier scooter to recommend in terms of colors uh, you have the same three colors uh, this is the space gray you have the mint green and uh, the white uh, as well so no changes there either uh, overall that was the ether 450x gen 3 for you uh, let us know what do you think about the scooter and are there any other features that you would like to see in the upcoming versions ether is going to keep updating the scooters and not only the newer versions the older versions will also get the software updates now the tbm is now, is now optional for the older scooters as well these mirrors are optional for the older customers as well the software updates are obviously there in terms of long-term usage also this is going to be a very good product for you because of the updates that it will keep getting so that was the Aether 450X Gen 3 for you. Let us know what you think about the scooter. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe to Motorrides if you haven't already and press that bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload our next video. This is Whipple signing off. I will see you in the next video. Until then, rev hard, rev free and ride safe.